In Amos chapter 3, uh, we read these words from verse 10 onwards. For they know not to do right, saith Yahweh, who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, an adversary there shall be even round about the land, and he shall bring down thy strength from thee, and thy palaces shall be spoiled. Thus saith Yahweh, as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of the lion two legs, or a piece of an ear, so shall the children of Israel be taken out that dwell in Samaria, in the corner of a bed, and in Damascus, in a couch. Now these verses are prophesying of the Assyrians who were going to come against Israel, and only a remnant would uh, be saved from being taken captivity out of the land. But what we'd like to do in this video is just highlight a small link between this passage and the record of the trial and crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. But before we do that, we just need to uh, make sure that we understand uh, these words which say that as the shepherd taketh out of the mouth of the lion two legs or a piece of an ear. So this is speaking about a lion that has uh, attacked a, a lamb. And the, the lamb has, uh, has now been, uh, is obviously killed. So why would the shepherd risk his, uh, his life just to retrieve two legs or a piece of an ear of the dead lamb? Now the reason uh, is given back in Exodus and chapter 22. In Exodus chapter 22 and verse 10 we read, If a man deliver unto his neighbour an ass or an ox or a sheep or any beast to keep, and it die or be hurt or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of Yahweh be between them both, that he hath not put his hand unto his neighbour's goods, and the owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. If it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for witness and he shall not make good that which was torn. So if a, a, a lamb or a sheep or other animal was slain by a, a wild animal, then it was in the interests of the, uh, of the shepherd to uh, bring the remnants of that animal to the owner to prove that indeed it had been killed and that the owner or the, the shepherd had not uh, sold that animal uh, for money. So that's why a shepherd would risk his life to take the remnants of uh, a lamb uh, or sheep out of the mouth of a lion. Well, let's just uh, remind ourselves of, what, of that passage that we just read in, um, in Amos. And one of the things that we read of there is that there is going to be, would be violence and robbery, uh, or there was violence and robbery in their palaces. Violence and spoil, as the word can mean, was stored up in the palaces um, in Israel. Now what we find is a similar thing happening at the time of the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. Here, um, first of all, in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 58 we read, But Peter followed him afar off unto the high priest's palace, and went in and sat with the servants to see the end. So we see here in Matthew chapter 26 that um, uh, the, the, the building where the Lord Jesus Christ was taken uh, was a, a palace um, in, uh, uh, in, of course, not Samaria here, but in Jerusalem. And then later we read what happened to the Lord Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 22 it says, And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote thee? And so um, in a, the prophecy of Amos, we read of violence and robbery in the palaces. And uh, when the Lord Jesus Christ was taken, that was the ultimate example of violence in the palaces. And of course, um, the, the Lord Jesus Christ had his uh, clothes uh, taken from him as well. So violence and robbery in the palaces um, in the land of Israel and in Judah came to a head with the trial and then crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. But while all this terrible violence uh, was towards the Son of God was, to, was about to take place uh, and taking place, something very uh, wonderful happened really um, in relation to other details of that prophecy. Because we've read in Amos 
that it uh, speaks of the um, uh, taking a two legs or piece of an ear out of the um, the mouth of the lion. Now that's interesting because it links with a couple of things which relate to the um, the uh, take of the Lord Jesus Christ and his crucifixion. First of all, there's the ear. In Luke 22 and verse 50, uh, 51 we read, and one, and one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. So here we had um, a piece of an ear, the ear was cut off. But that was not the end because it was healed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, it was as though, the, uh, the uh, as it were, the lamb had been taken out of the mouth's line and then somehow it was healed, brought back to life. The, the, the ear was no longer separated um, from, the, um, from the lamb, but now it could hear. And what about the legs? Well, of course, in John chapter 19, and verse 33, after the, cruci after the Lord Jesus Christ had died, we read these words of the Romans. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they break not his legs. So God providentially, uh, through his angels, ensured that the, le uh, the legs of the Lord Jesus Christ um, were not broken. And the, uh, the Romans, who uh, later on in the New Testament are, are symbolized, spoken of as, um, as a lion by, um, uh, by Paul and Peter, they're referred to as a lion, God providentially ensured that the, the legs of his only begotten son uh, were not broken um, by uh, the Romans, but um, he uh, uh, protected the body of his son in the way that we read of here in John chapter 19. So there's quite a, a nice contrast there between um, the prophecy of Amos, where it speaks of the peace of an ear and, and the, the two the legs of a, a, a lamb which had been or animal which had been killed by the lion, and what we read of at the same time as all this uh, violence and uh, robbery was taking place in the uh, in the palace of the Jews at the time of the trial and crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. While that was going on in parallel, the Lord Jesus Christ was healing a person who had had his ear cut off. And God was washing over his only begotten son so that his legs were not broken.